The name of the movie is The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind, a true story of a boy who invented a fairy device to save his village from drought. The movie starts in an African country, where the workers on the farm were harvesting, and suddenly one of the workers fell to the ground and died. At the funeral of this worker, the priest said that his soul will remain in the land, and that his brother and son are the ones who will complete the journey after him. The next day William was fixing their radio, but his father took the radio from him under the pretext of listening to the weather conditions. William's father asked his son to fix the roof. As for his mother, she asked him to take a shower before he went to school. William was surprised and happy that his father had bought him new clothes. Thus, William will be equal to his classmates and dress like them. After William puts on his new clothes, he meets a friend and they go to school. As for Triwell, William's father, he took part of his crop to sell it in the market. And at that time, there were election campaigns. Triwell was able to change his crop with new seeds to plant. As for William, upon entering the school, they are surprised that the principal asks them to pay a fee in order to be able to use the school library. Then the students dispersed after the rain and went to their classes. After the end of the lesson, William gave the teacher a letter from his sister, who wanted to join the university. William returned home after the professor told him that he had to pay for tuition or they would expel him. William tried to study at home because the exams were close, but because of the darkness, he was unable to complete his studies. William asks his mother to bring him a gas lamp, but she refuses, arguing that they may need it for something more important later. William's mother asks him to help his father in farming instead of studying. The next day at school, William gets a bad result in an exam, and it's because he didn't review the subject at night. That's why William went to a place full of junk to look for something for lighting. But by chance, William found a water engine, but because he was looking for something to help get the lighting, he left the water engine and continued searching. At this time, there was a meeting between the villagers and a company that wanted to buy the tobacco trees that surround the village. But the village mayor refused, because if they sold the trees, they would drown because of the floods. But the villagers, who were so poor, did not think about the future, so they decided to give up the trees that surrounded their land. Triwell was one of the people who gave away the trees that surrounded his land. But the trees used to protect Uncle Triwell's land, but after he sold it, there was nothing left to protect the land. Triwell went to talk to his nephew. He warned him of the flood in the neighboring village, and that this flood could reach his land at any moment. But Triwell was adamant about selling the trees to the company. The next day, when William was walking, he saw the company cutting down trees. Thus, their land will be exposed to floods easily. Then William went with the young men of the village and sat with them. These guys had a radio, but it didn't work, so they asked William to fix it. William went home to get batteries and also asked his father for tuition fees. Then William came back and built a huge battery and repaired the radio. At night, when William was returning home, he saw his sister, accompanied by teacher Mike, and realized that they were in a romantic relationship. The next day, William returned with his friend to the junkyard to look for something that would turn into a light. William's friend incites William to take revenge on a teacher who is dating his sister, so William went to break the teacher's bike. But William notices something he sees for the first time in his life, which is that the headlight on the bike lights up when the wheels move. With this, William discovered something new and wanted to know how this thing works. William went to the teacher to ask about the headlight on the bike. The teacher told him that the lamp is lit because of the electric generator. William did not know what an electric generator was. The teacher explained what an electric generator is to William. The teacher told William that the electric generator converts kinetic energy into electrical energy. And because William wanted to get more information, the teacher told him to go to the library and find out for himself. But William hasn't paid the school fees yet so he can't access the library. Because William knew of the teacher's relationship with his sister, William asked the teacher to help him enter the library, and in return, William will help the teacher in his sister's engagement and make his father agree to that. The teacher agreed and took William to the library. William finds an energy book. At night, what William's father was afraid of happened. Floods reached the village and drowned the harvest of William's father, who had toiled for a year. William's father went to a friend of his who works in the tobacco company and asked him to buy the trees from them. But a friend of William's father refused. After a while, during the harvest season, they could not reap anything because of the floods that destroyed everything. They were able to collect only a few edible plants. After that, a new chief visited the village for the elections. But when the mayor decided to talk about the problems in the village and asked the president to solve the problems in return for voting for him, they took him down and beat him under the podium severely. And because the crop they got is not enough for more than three months. 
William's father sold the roof of his house to be able to eat for the rest of the year. William's father decided to go to the city to confront the wrongful president. As for William, only his mother asked him to take all the money in the house to buy food and store it. William's father was on his way to the city, and on the way he discovered the famine that had afflicted the neighboring villages and realized that he had made a mistake in his decision to leave the village. In this scene, during a quarrel between William's mother and his sister, a thief enters trying to steal the food that William bought, because this thief's family hasn't eaten for three days. The thief took the food and ran away. And when William's mother came out, she was surprised by the number of thieves who stole their food store, which contained food that was supposed to suffice them for a whole year. At this time, William arrived at the place where the government distributed food, and the place was crowded with people, and the quantity was not enough for everyone, and for this reason they entered a few people and gave them 12 kilograms of wheat per person, and this quantity is supposed to be sufficient for them for six months. The big problem was how these people got out of the warehouse because there are a lot of people outside waiting to get food. Using his wits, William drilled a hole and got out safely. William's father returned to the house, and his wife told him of the theft that took place, and that their only hope now is that William will bring some food, and this is exactly what happened. After William brought the wheat home, his father tried to divide it, in addition to dividing some of the money he had left. He divided the money into rations sufficient for six months. William asked his sister to steal the electric motor of the teacher's bike because he needed it to create a generator to generate water for the village. And in the early morning of the next day, William's sister ran away with the teacher, but before she left, she left the electric generator that William had requested at home. William's sister left a message telling them that she had left to provide for her own food. William took the electric generator and started making a windmill to generate electricity through movement. This generator was converting kinetic energy into electrical energy. William was able to create a small model with which he would operate the radio, and this would provide enough power for the water pump and restore water to the village. The village youth collected all the tools William needed, and William was able to set up a windmill. But before that, William went to his father to show him the small model he had made and asked his father to give him the bicycle in order to complete his project. But his father got angry and refused to give him the only means of transportation he had. William's father broke the small model and ordered his son to drop out of school and work with him in agriculture. William went to the village youth and asked them for help to convince his father. But when they went to him, he refused to give them the bike and told them to leave immediately. But William remained wedded to his invention, and his mother believed in his abilities, so she asked Triwell to give him one last chance. William's father agreed and went with William, and they disassembled the bike according to the parts he needed. Everyone in the village helped William and started his windmill and engine. Suddenly, the water appeared and the place was filled with joy. Thus, the villagers will be able to farm again. In the end, remorse appeared on William's father's face because he did not help his son from the beginning. Months later, the village is back to better than it was before. Thus, an 11-year-old boy was able to save an entire village from drought. In the end, William traveled to America in order to complete his studies. As for William's sister, she married the teacher and bore him four children. Here we have come to the end of the movie. Do not forget to subscribe and activate the alerts button to receive all new updates.